Hello everybody, this is Cheese Dad. Today we're gonna to be digging an entire chunk in 1.17. So in order to make this not terribly mind numbing, I have given our tools efficiency five, unbreaking three, and mending, because this is my challenge and I can say what we want. Uh, we have a bunch of shulker boxes full of tools here. We have a water bucket and I have cheats enabled so I can just give myself food if I need to. But the entire thing is being streamed on Twitch so they can vouch for me that this is not gonna be faked. We're actually gonna do this and it's gonna take forever. We're currently at Y equals 65. That means we have to go down all the way from y equals 65 to y equals negative 64. So 65 plus 64 is, is 129. 256 blocks on every single layer times 129. We're gonna have to dig out about 30,000 blocks for this. So without further ado, I say we start the timer. We have about five and a half months to hit our sub goal by the time I'm releasing this video. So if you want this to happen, make sure to share with your friends and subscribe Three, if you're not already two, subscribed. One, go. I did not really consider all of the entities that are gonna be on the ground. Maybe I should have thought about that. 30,000 blocks, what was I thinking? I forgot to mention in the intro, but I did set up three beacons ahead of time. Uh, haste two beacons at high, middle, and low points. So we are covered for that the entire challenge. I also am using wooden tools at the beginning here. I do end up changing over to netherite, as you will see. This feels like we're about two blocks a second. I don't know if that's true, but that would be about 15,000 seconds, four hours. So we are not doing that. <laughs> I'm calling it now. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're gonna go get some, some better tools. Okay, we got four netherite pickaxes, two netherite shovels. Let's see how long that lasts. Well, I had the netherite prepared because my original idea was just to do it with netherite anyway. And then I was like, well, what if we did this if wooden tools? So I had already had the netherite box prepared because that was my first idea for the video. A very common theme in this video is going to be digging. And as you can see here, things are going pretty smoothly because we do have those haste beacons. I have efficiency five on my tools. So I'm able to instant mine all this stone, which I couldn't do with the wooden tools. This is so dumb. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> As a YouTuber, I try to balance a few different things. I try to balance entertaining, something that you will enjoy watching, education, so something that you can at least learn something out of. Here you're learning how fast you can dig a 1.17 chunk and shameless self-promotion. Do you like my new shirt? Look at that. The cheese logo is actually a little too large, I think. But if you really like cheese, it's good. Merch jokes aside, I do normally really try to put a lot of value into my videos. So if you want to see one of my better videos and not this kind of mind numbing stuff, go ahead and click subscribe. Now it's going to really stink when we get down to Grimstone because I don't think you can instant mine the Grimstone. You know, looking back, this was probably a really good point to quit, but I didn't quit. We kept going and little did we know that this would be the very beginning of what was to be a very lengthy endeavor. Thankfully, this was streamed on Twitch, so I was able to communicate with all nine Twitch viewers throughout the stream. It was around this point that my sister came into my room and handed me a package. So then I opened it up. A custom cheese dud face mask. <laughs> Look at that. Merch. So with a little bit of a time loss from showing off the merch and shamelessly promoting that, link in the description, we finally stumbled upon something that would help us out quite a bit. Whoa! Hey, that's nice. We got a little bit of a break here. Gotta dig our way back up though. So right around here is where you'll notice that I'm taking quite a bit of time loss. And this is because I was starting a Twitch prediction. If you don't know what a Twitch prediction is, is basically the more you watch a Twitch channel, you will accumulate channel points and then you can use those channel points for various things. Uh, so one of the things that you can do is to predict the outcome of a certain event. So right here, we were predicting how long we thought it was gonna take. I'll talk some more about the predictions later, but for now, it's very important that we have just stumbled upon deep slate. So this is y equals zero, or I guess y equals negative one. And in any previous version of the game, we would have just completed the challenge. However, y equals 1.17 goes down to y equals negative 64. What is that? That's a hole. We had found another cave that'll give us a little bit of a break in our mining. However, as you may have remembered from earlier, the deep slate is not instant mineable, which means this took forever, even with haste two. So we made it all the way down to Y equals zero in about 45 minutes. And as you will see, it took us quite a bit longer to make it down 
to y equals negative 64. How long? Well, you're just gonna have to stay tuned, I guess. In the meantime, I'll complete my spiel on Twitch predictions. You could use your channel points to say, I think it's gonna take 45 minutes or longer. I think it's gonna take an hour or longer, etc. Um, so we did a few of these predictions throughout the stream. If you wanna do some of these predictions, I highly recommend joining over on twitch.tv slash cheese that six. Like I said before, I think we averaged around nine viewers this stream, which is terrible for a uh, YouTube channel of 90,000. So if you would like to help improve those numbers and maybe get us to Twitch partner, head on over to twitch.tv slash cheese that six. Thankfully, we were able to find one little tiny pocket of the block tough, which is instant mineable with a haste two beacon and efficiency five. Thank goodness some instant mine blocks. We're at Y negative 15. We still have like 50 blocks to go. Now you may notice I'm digging down in kind of like a stair step pattern. This was because it was just so mind numbing to do layer by layer. I thought this would at least give a little bit more interest, but really it was still pretty mind numbing. I realized this probably would not be a long standing record. So I decided to take another time loss anyway and go explore one of the caves that I found. This cave just for a second. It's kind of cute. It's kind of a nice cave. I like it. Wow, I wish I had dug down here. Would have had all this open space for us to dig right into. Oh, oh well. So we continued, pressing on into the storm. Wind raged, waves pounded, thunder shook the very vessel in which we tread, and still we kept our eyes ahead. Staying afloat in the midst of disaster requires a fortitude that not many possess. We got to the point where anyone else would quit, but we're not gonna stop there. We just did it! Uh, yeah, so anyway, we just kept digging. Why negative 21? Still got 40 blocks to go. I was really not looking forward to 40 more blocks of this. Keep in mind, we found the deep slate at Y equals negative one, and it has taken us over 30 minutes to get to this point. For those of you who have quick maths, you may realize that that means we have another hour to go, which is why I am very thankful that we stumbled upon this. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this, everybody. We did get a big cavern. And indeed, I did come down here to set up the beacon, but I forgot it was this big. Wait, we are within reach. Look at that. Filled with determination and the breath of new life, we kept holding our finger on the mouse button. We weren't gonna let up there. We were gonna see this through to the very end. 15 people mined a 1.16 chunk in eight minutes. That's insane. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if there's a multiplayer world record because we could we could try to beat that in 1.17. Everybody start, go chop down some trees and then just work on mining down to the bottom. Oh, it was 40 people. They all did it together. I think what we need to do is get 256 viewers spawn in like a dark oak forest or something. And then each person takes one of the blocks in a chunk and just mine straight down. We'd have to, we'd have to be careful about lava, but I think we could beat that. I think we could beat eight minutes. People would just have to be good about crafting tools quickly. As we got closer and closer to the bottom and with this giant cavern beneath us, we decided it was gonna be time for one more prediction. Probably our final prediction before the end of the stream. Could we finish this challenge within 15 minutes? All right, so we're gonna start this prediction. We have a one minute, we'll say a two minute submission period. And then the time ends as soon as I submit it. That's when the, the countdown for 15 minutes starts. 15 minutes from 134, so 149. And with that, we had a brand new goal. Could we beat this challenge in one hour, 49 minutes on the clock? I couldn't let the believers down. I had to do this. So I put my mouse where my mind was and we kept going. I focused harder than I have this entire challenge and I dug and I dug and I dug. All right, this takes us down to Y equals negative 57. Because there's bedrock right there, negative 59. At long last, we had finally found bedrock. However, that's not the whole challenge. The challenge and part of our prediction is that we have to make every single block have the topmost exposed surface have bedrock. That means if any of the bedrock is covered at all, then we failed the challenge. But finally, with precision, determination, dedication, and a little bit of arthritis. We did it. We did it. 
There it is. Oh, yes. Sweet. Predictions. Choose prediction outcome. It took us less than 15 minutes from the time we created the prediction. Oh, we did it, everybody. I should have paused the pause the timer, but I guess it doesn't really matter since we weren't doing like a speed run, speed run. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so even though we did not end up using wooden tools the entire time, we did make it an entire chunk all the way down to bedrock. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at this. We just dug so much. It took so long. It took an hour and a half. Over an hour and a half. All the way down here. Wow. Sub to cheese dud. Sub to cheese dud. If you enjoyed this video, well, thank you for watching, first of all. Second, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Head over to Twitch. Join this community to watch these, these uh, random live streams that I do every so often. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cheese Dad. I'll see you next time.